Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can delete or clean up the media files which are no longer in use on your WordPress website. And we are going to install a free plugin to clean up the media files on your WordPress website. In many cases, you may have installed a premium theme and you may have imported the demo content from the premium theme. When your website is ready and it is published, you do not need the demo content and the demo media files for your WordPress website. In that case, you may need to search for the files or the media images which are not in use and you may need to delete them manually. Now we are going to install a free plugin and we are going to clean up the media which are no longer in use on your WordPress website. In another scenario, you may delete some posts or products from your website and the images and the media files which are used on those posts and the products may not get deleted automatically. They will still be there in your media folder. So these files will still be there even after you delete the post or the product. Let me show you an example. I'll go to all post here. I have one blog post here. This is the test blog post. I'm going to publish it. And let's go to view. So this is a test blog post. And on this blog post, we have this image used. This is the sample image that I'm going to use. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this blog post. So let's go to the post and trash, delete this blog post. So you can see that the blog post is deleted. Now let me go to media. We are on the media library. And you will see that this image is still there in your media library. It is not deleted. So these are the unused images or the media files that you need to delete from your WordPress website so that it will save the space on your hosting server. All right, I can go to the drop down and select unattached and it will show the list of images which are not attached to any blog post or the products. Before we start with the installation of the plugin, let me inform you that today's video is brought to you by Breakdance. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Breakdance plugin. Breakdance is the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It is easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you are just starting your WordPress journey or you are a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try today and experience the Breakdance difference. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch the detailed video on how to use the Breakdance plugin and what are the features in the Breakdance plugin. All right, so let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. We are going to install a new plugin now. Search for Media Cleaner. And this is the plugin that we are going to install. Media Cleaner, clean your WordPress. And this is one of the products of Meow app. And you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 80,000 WordPress websites. So click on install now. And click on activate. So the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel, you will see the option Meow apps and this is media cleaner so these are the basic settings of the media cleaner content check file system scan is only for the pro if i go to advanced ui and logs hide yes so we are not going to go through these settings we will keep it as it is in the left hand panel under media you will see new option added here that is cleaner so let's go to cleaner and you can see that it will scan through your website and it will show you the results of the media files which are not in use. If you do not see the files here, you can simply click on scan and it will scan your website and look for the files, the media files which are not in use. All right, so you can see that 45 images are not in use. There are 45 issues with your files accounting for 15.66 megabytes. Your trash contains zero MB. So you will see the list of all the files which are not in use. If you want to see which file, you can simply click on it and it will show you the preview. Or you can simply click on this one and it will show you the image which is not in use. So this is the image which is not attached to any post or any product on this 
demo website so you can go through these images and if you think these images are not required anymore you can simply delete them if you want you can select only one and delete one entry or you can simply select all and select all entries here it will show only 10 images on the front page then we have go to next these are the images which are not in use you will see the test image which is not in use but it is still in media library so if you want you can simply go through all these images one by one or if you're sure that these images are not required you can simply select all of them and click delete 21 currently i have selected 21 images or if you want to delete everything all the images then you can simply click on this delete all option from here let's click on delete all all right so all the unused images or the media files are deleted however if you still want to review those images you can simply go to trash and you will see all those images are listed under trash it is just like deleting the media files it will go to trash and if you think that you can delete these images forever you can simply click on empty trash and it will empty the trash and it will delete all these media files from your wordpress website so it is going to clean up the media files and it is going to save the space on your hosting server so this is a free plugin that you can use to clean up the media files from your wordpress website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.